Hey guys, Joseph here. I have a very interesting video for you today because I am going to be reviewing this new Piano Light by Ben Q and doing a little bit of an unboxing and providing some of my first impressions. I'm teaching students in about an hour or so from now, so basically my plan here is to open it and get it set up and then, you know, actually use it in my lessons and everything and see what I think by the end of the day. Um, now, Ben Q sent me this unit to review, which is extraordinarily kind of them and not something I ever expected. Uh, and I'm really grateful they did this because I don't know if I would have found out about this product otherwise. This is a new product, it's sort of a smart piano light, if you will. Um, or it's not really like, um, like a hue or anything like that, like it doesn't connect to Wi-Fi or anything, but it's got a lot of features that make it a lot more sophisticated and impressive than a normal piano light. Or at least it says, you know, I haven't, I haven't actually opened it yet, so um, we'll find out. Uh, so this light retails for, at least at the time of this uh, review, it retails for, I think, 240 US, which is pretty expensive for a piano. Well, I would say it's on the high end for a piano light. Um, this light is for an upright piano, so it will, it will very likely not work for a grand piano. And I have seen some grand piano lights that are, you know, generally bigger and more sophisticated. They cost a lot more money. Uh, but for an upright light, this is a little on the high end. Uh, my current light costs about half that, but it's just the light. That's all it does. You have to find your own bulbs, can't adjust it or anything other than, you know, uh, getting the, the height of the light um, right. Uh, but for the most part, it's, uh, you know, not exactly smart or anything like that. So. Uh, I'm very interested in trying something like this out. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and open this thing up and just kind of see what we got. All right, let me see if I can fold this so it stays open. I don't have the biggest desk here. There we go. All right, you got a quick start guide. Set that aside. I'm not sure what this is but I'm assuming this is probably a visor or something that, that blocks the light from getting into your eyes. I'm assuming. All right. So this is the light, and it's actually a lot smaller than I thought it was gonna be um, after looking at it online and seeing it on the box. It's actually really small. I need to, uh, let me get my other light and compare it, because that might be helpful. All right. I just undid my normal piano light so you guys can kind of see what this is comparing to. And you know what? Now is probably a good time to talk about what I don't like about this light. The first thing is that the lighting is definitely uneven because these lights are pretty bright directly below and they're not necessarily bright uh, over the rest of the keyboard. So I got frosted LED lights to kind of mitigate that and it absolutely helps I used to have a really bright light reflection in the key, in the keys, you know, whenever I did top down videos and things like that. Um, it, it, the the uh, frosted lights do mitigate this, but it's probably not what I'm gonna experience with this light. Another thing that really annoys me about this light, uh, which hopefully the other light does not have, is this little foil in here rattles when I play certain keys. And I, I can't really pinpoint exactly when it's gonna happen. It's been difficult to make it stop. It's really irritating, so hopefully there's nothing loose on this other light. And I know this is just a, a feature so that the light directs down, but it, you know, it does make some noise and everything. Uh, I do like this light. It served me very well. It matches my uh, decor in this office. This base is like really heavy, uh, yet it still fits on the top of the piano without um, the little like hinge of the top part of the piano folding over. Uh, this is small enough that it's gonna fit on one side or the other. Although this light here, has a groove in the bottom of the base that fits over that little hinge, which is really awesome. Um, and then the, the, other, the last thing I don't like about this light is when you get it to where it's gonna light up the keys and everything, it's kind of hard to still not get any reflection. Uh, and that is because my piano is a 48 inch piano. Uh, it's like a U1 48 inch upright piano. And so the light, even on its like minimum, if you fold it and it looks like this, um, it still gets in my eyes a little bit. So. Hopefully this other light will mitigate that, but you can see that this light is a lot bulkier 
in terms of the actual light. Although this is a physically larger light, I can see. But anyway, we'll see. And the last thing is, I don't remember if I've mentioned it, but this is about, this light was about half the price. This was over $100, this light. I forgot where I got it, but, you know, it's a dedicated, nice light that's not a piece of junk. Um, and, you know, you have to shell out a little bit to get a basic light that's not going to be, you know, that's going to, like, not fall apart or rattle or whatever. Um, and that being said, for $120 or for, you know, I think it was around there, uh, that this is all it does. It's just a light. It doesn't do anything else. So this is a, a good bit more money, but there's a lot of things that it does. And usually if you find a light that uh, doesn't break, there's nothing wrong with it, you're probably going to have no reason to upgrade it for a really, really long time. So if you guys are considering looking at this light, if you found this video because you're, you're searching for this light or you're, you're interested in a new light for the piano, maybe you don't have a light and you're kind of put off by the price, uh, consider that if, if this works out for you, uh, you're probably not going to replace it. And then the difference in price, you know, averaged over time is really uh, negligible. So it's just up to you as to whether or not you want the features. I'm a total nerd and I like auto brightness and color temperature changing and all that stuff. I really go for that sort of thing. So I'm, I'm the kind of person that probably would have found and bought this light anyway, but we'll see. All right. So I'm going to actually get this thing out. And the first thing that I am realizing is that this light is substantially heavier substantial. It's like more than twice as heavy. It might be three times as heavy. I don't know. It's really heavy. So it's very secure. Let me see if I can take this wrapping off. You know what? Let me just take it out of the box. There we go. All right. I'm not accustomed to unboxing videos. So I don't really know what the cleanest way is to get all this open. So I'm just going to do it. Hopefully I don't break anything. Let's see here. Okay, that's probably good. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh wow, this is actually really nice. Okay. So, the light is under here. It looks like it's got a ball joint and also a hinge. And the hinge is like st reasonably stiff, but holds the light in place. It's very adjustable, actually. I'm gonna just show y'all the groove here in the bottom. Hopefully that's deep enough for the hinge that I have. I'm gonna find that out in just a second, actually. Okay, so it is deep enough for the hinge. That is a good sign. Um, I've got a bunch of settings here. This is for color temperature. This is for brightness. I am not sure what these are. I'm guessing that's for presence detection and that's probably auto brightness. And I don't know what that is. That might be some sort of favorites or something. I'll read the manual and figure it out. Uh, and we'll see how it goes. So anyway, this can, oh wait, I probably should put this thing on. Oh, it just slides out. Okay. So this thing probably goes in. Well, I don't know how this is going to hang over. I guess it's going to hang like that, which means, okay, I'm going to have to figure this out because I know I'm pretty sure this is a visor. So I'll figure this out. I'll get it set up and I'll give you guys my impressions of it, whether or not I actually think it's worth the money and how it fares for uh, like students and whatnot. One thing I probably should mention 
is that because I'm using like a, a mirrorless camera, I've had various issues with LED lights and flashing and flickering and things like that. So I know if this light flickers in the, in the camera, it's gonna be an instant rejection. So hopefully I'm not gonna have that problem. Um, and outside of that, I'm, I'm hoping it'll improve the quality of my overhead videos. I'm hoping it'll, it'll improve the quality of my lessons um, and maybe make my lesson environment more comfortable. Um, it'll probably look really good on top of the piano too. So anyway, I'm gonna conclude this part of the video and I will report back to you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, as you can see, I have the light now in place above my piano. I was able to test it with a few of my students today. I just actually wrapped up a day of teaching and I wanted to share some of my impressions. Um, I also uh, will put a link to the BenQ website and uh, Amazon in the video description below if you guys wanna go over there and check it out. Uh, so um, in summary, I really like this light. I uh, did not expect to like it as much as I do, um, probably because I didn't necessarily know how much I would feel the need for these features. And I didn't know how I would feel about recommending a light that I would consider uh, somewhat on the higher price, um, you know, just based on these features alone. But as it turns out, I really like to use it. I made a little list of pros and cons. I wanted to run through that real quick. So the first pro is that it looks cool. I mean, I think it looks cool. It's black. It's very minimalist. I think it fits in with the, uh, the rest of the decor in the studio. Uh, and I really, I really like how it looks. It's, uh, even though it's a larger, like width than my regular light that I was using. Um, it's a lot thinner and it's a smaller profile and uh, it's just, you know, less bulky. So I really like it. The lighting is really even. It's really easy on your eyes. It gets really bright. And despite how bright it is, it's pretty pleasant to look at your sheet music and the keys and everything because there's no glare or anything. The light is very even. There's no light in your face. It's got that visor, uh, that little shield thing. So you don't really see the part that's emitting the light at all. Um, another thing, as I mentioned, uh, I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, but uh, I was worried about LED flicker with my camera and that is absolutely not a problem. I mean, if it was a problem, uh, you would see it in this video, but uh, I didn't see, I didn't experience any flickering. So that's great. Um, all the buttons are right on the front. Um, I really like that you just touch and adjust and everything. It's very easy to, um, operate this. Actually, this light is really simple to operate, uh, for what it does. Uh, and I do really appreciate that. Uh, it automatically turns on when you get near it. Just like that. It's great, it stays on for 10 minutes or so, and then it'll uh, shut off. And there's a little button you can press to disable that if you don't like it. Uh, it's got auto brightness. So, and that, it's using that right now. This is the level of brightness that it is uh, perceiving as appropriate for the level of ambient lighting in this room and uh, it has a very solid design, um, really good build quality from what I can tell, uh, really heavy base and everything's really sturdy. I uh, really like it. Okay, the cons, as I've mentioned a few times, I do feel like this is a little bit on the high end. Um, I really like it, and I think that if you like the features, this is, this is probably something that you're gonna be willing to pay for, but if you don't need these features and um, you're looking to just you know, have a basic light and whatnot, for a lot less than this money, you'd be able to buy something that just does uh, the basic job of illuminating the piano uh, and nothing more. Um, it might not look as cool, it might not um, have all these features or whatever, but you don't have to spend this much to get a good piano light. Um, another con that I don't really like about it is that it just doesn't get very dim. Um, in fact, I think, let's see, dim it all the way. Yeah, I think it's on its dimmest setting. So this is not really a light that you're gonna, you know, have on your piano just for ambient lighting or whatever. It's, um, it's pretty bright and then it, get, it just gets ridiculously bright if it needs to, you know, if you really need it. Uh, and that I feel like is uh, somewhat of a con. Um, you know, if you're gonna use the light, uh, it might as well have it be bright enough to do whatever it is you need to do on the piano, but uh, I did like to have my previous light on just for ambient lighting, and this is just a little bright for that, so. Um, and the last con, I guess it's a con, um, is it's not really like, it doesn't auto adjust the uh, temperature, the color temperature, uh, as far as I can tell. It looks like you pick a color temperature and then you hit the auto adjust button and it will 
um, auto adjust within that range, uh, but it won't change the color temperature. So it's probably a feature or whatever, but uh, I think it would be cool if it adjusted the color temperature as well. Um, like sort of like Apple's true tone for, you know, piano lights. Uh, but for the most part, there's your pros and cons. And, um, you know, I really enjoyed using it. So now I'm going to switch to my other camera and show you the actual effect on the keyboard. All right, this is the part of the video where I demonstrate the light, how it works, what it looks like on the keyboard. As you can see, the lighting is really, really even. If you compare this to any of my other videos, um, you'll generally see a lot more glare around here. So in a, I don't really want to adjust it and mess with it now, but in adjusting this light, from what I can tell, there's like a big circle or oval where it's really nicely illuminated just around here. And it pretty much cuts off like right here. So if I adjust the light at all, pretty much like right here, if I adjust the light at all, it moves this oval around. Um, it's really quite directed for how evenly illuminated this is. The light is really just directed just in this area and it doesn't really spill over into the room or on the wall or anything like that. It's really focused. Um, so I really like that. Um, the features where you can change the color temperature, I'll just show you that real quick. It's getting warmer. So this is what it's like on its warm setting. The camera might auto adjust a little bit to compensate, but I'll just kind of give you guys an idea. So there's six levels. So this is the first level and then cooler, three, four, five, six. So it gets pretty blue looking at least. I prefer a warmer setting. Although I can see I'm looking over at my camera, I can see it's like automatically adjusting. Uh, the second I mess with it, it's just like adjust. So hopefully you guys can see that it gets pretty pretty blue looking and it gets pretty warm looking as well. So uh, finding something that's like right in the middle is probably the way to go. Then you have your 15 brightness levels. I think, I think that's what it said. So I'll show you guys. It just gets really, 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 really bright. Like that. Again, the camera might be compensating for it, but this is actually like way too much for me. It's too bright. <laughs> but it's nice to know that it can't get this bright. I'm sure there's some environment, maybe in a very well lit room where you would want something this bright. Uh, but I'll go ahead and hit the auto adjust button and that takes it back down. And I'll go ahead and put on my preferred color temperature, which is gonna be something like this. There we go. So this is about uh, where I prefer to keep it. Okay. This is what it looks like without the light. And then the little auto auto off feature, um, it takes a few seconds to kick in, but basically if it detects movement around here, it just automatically comes back on. And I think it will stay on for like 10 minutes or so. Uh, and then there's a little favorite button here that you can hold and basically save a color combination and a brightness level. Um, and I think that you can use that with the auto brightness, you could just uh, regularly use the auto brightness to have a, a normal, pleasant uh, brightness level. And then if you want something very specific, you can use the favorite. Uh, that's actually how I'm using it. So I have it mindset like this, and I have it basically where it'll go the warmest it can go and the, the dimmest it can go. That's what I like to do with the, uh, the favorite so far, at least, you know, using it for one day. Um, anyway, put that back on auto brightness, and then I'll cool it down a little bit. Um, you can see that the music is, you know, very clear and everything's well lit. Um, I think this looks fantastic. This is really, really easy to see and easy to use. I teach in here multiple days a week and uh, for, you know, long hours at times. So um, having, the, having a light like this that evens everything out, I think it's going to make a big difference in how comfortable my environment is. Also, I like that the light's just going to be off when I'm not using it. So if I'm not actually sitting at the piano, the light's not going to be on and it lets the room be a little dimmer. Uh, so yeah, uh, go ahead and give you my final thoughts. All right, so now that you guys have a good idea of what this light can do and what it looks like and everything, uh, hopefully you found this review and impressions video helpful uh, for deciding if you feel like this might be worth it for you. Uh, in terms of my opinion, like what I would actually recommend, uh, I think if you're going to use these features, this is a really nice, well-built light. Uh, it really exceeded my expectations. I really didn't know what to expect, but 
considering how much I did pay for my regular light that does nothing but turn on and off um, and has various issues, uh, and considering how long it's been since I since I would have otherwise felt the need to replace it, um, this thing is clearly going to last me a while, and I really like it. You're probably going to see it in many future videos, so uh, I do recommend it if you are, uh, like I said, if you need these features. Uh, this is something I would definitely buy for my studio had a unit not been sent to me to review, so I am I'm happy to recommend this. Anyway, hope you guys found this video helpful, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.